Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to attempt some problems on rate of return that we did in class before. We are going to use Excel now to attempt the same problems. So the manual solutions to the problems that we did, you already see on this sheet. We are going to see how we can use Excel to find answers to these problems. Let us look at the first one. We sell a share of stock today for $50, which we had bought last year for $47. And the question is, what is the percentage rate of return that we earned? So this is going to be really simple in Excel. In this cell now, we are going to write an equality sign and use this formula here, P1 over P0 minus 1. So let us start a bracket. Inside the bracket, we write the value for P1, which is 50. Then divide this by the value of uh, P0, which is 47. Close brackets and subtract 1 from it. Hit enter and there you have your return 0 0.0638 which is this number here equivalent to 6.38%. The next problem is a 25 year zero coupon bond with a thousand dollar face value is available for $233 today. What is the rate of return? And the second question, what is its effective annual rate? Let us do the rate of return first just like we did in the previous question. Equality sign here start bracket value of p1 is 1000 divided by the value of p0 which is 233 close brackets minus 1 hit enter and there you see your return 3.2918 which is this number here equivalent to 329.18 percent the second question is to find the effective annual rate in excel we can do it by using the effect command but for using the effect command, two conditions must be satisfied. Number one, the nominal rate of interest should, not, uh, should be greater than zero, in fact, and the number of periods should be greater than one. Since in this case, both conditions are satisfied, we can use the effect command, which we can do in this cell now. So we write an equality sign, invoke the effect command by writing EFFECT effect, start bracket, now the Excel is asking us for the input. We are going to first provide the nominal rate, 329.18 comma, and then the number of periods in years, which is 25 in this case. So we write 25, close bracket, hit enter. So here we have our EAR, 6.05%, which is about this, 6%. The next question is the return on a money market in instrument is compounded weekly so there are 52 compoundings in a year the question is what will be t in years this one is really simple if we want to find out the t or time in years and we know the number of compounding periods the answer is simply the reciprocal of the number of compounding periods which we can very quickly find here write an equality sign and then 1 divided by 52 hit enter and there you have your number of years 0 0.0192 which is the same thing as this. Um, the next one now says the, the, uh, that the above money market instrument offers a return of 0 0.0011 per 0 0.0192 years and we are required to find its effective annual rate. Now in this situation we can't use the effect command because the number of periods here is less than 1. If we try using the effect command, we are going to get an error. Let's try and see. Is equal to effect and then we are going to give it the nominal rate which is 0 0.0011 equivalent to 0.11%. So we write 0.11 comma the number of periods 0 0.0192 close brackets hit enter and you should see a num error on display. So there you see it, which means that we can't use the effect command of Excel directly here. So we have to apply the actual formula, which is this one here. Let us do that. We write an equality sign, start a bracket, we write a 1, then a plus sign, and then we need to write the rate of return, which is 0 0.0011. So we write that, 0 0.0011, close brackets, and then this whole quantity has to be raised to the power of 1 over t. So we raise this by writing this symbol here. And then in another bracket, we write the quantity which is supposed to be the exponent 1 over time 
time is 0 0.0192 0 0.0192 close the bracket and then subtract 1 after that hit enter and you should see your EAR on display here 0 0.0589 which is about 5.8 percent uh, here the next question is what is your effective annual rate if a bank offers you an annually continuously compounded rate of 12 percent there are some words missing here there's no off here forgive me for that error in any case as long as we understand what the question is asking us to do we can proceed forward so we are supposed to apply this formula here e raised to the power of the rate of interest minus one let's do that here in Excel if you have to apply e raised to the power you use the exponent function so we write here an equality sign and then we write exp to invoke the exponent function start bracket we have to give it the number now we write 0.12 for the rate of interest and then we subtract 1 from it and there is your answer 0.12749 which is about this 0.1275 or 12.75 percent uh, for this video we are going to do one more question here which is if there is a 20% chance that the return will be 10% and an 80% chance that the return will be 15% what is going to be our expected return we can do it in two ways the manual solution appears here so we know that the answer is going to be 14% in Excel we can use either the sum product function or we can use the mmult function to find the answer to this question so let us write down our matrices we are going to write the P vector the probability vector first so let's write P and below this let us write the probabilities there's a 20% chance so we write 0.2 and there is also an 80% chance of something else happening so we write a 0.8 then we write our return vector let's give it a name R and let us write down the rate of returns corresponding to the, to the probabilities there's a 20% chance that the return will be 10%, so we write 10. And then there's an 80% chance that the return is going to be 15%, so we write 15. And then in this cell, we can use the sum product function to find out the expected rate of return. Let us do that. Equality sign, sum product, start bracket, and then Excel is asking us for the arrays that it needs to uh, use for this function our first array is the probability vector which is this so we select this comma and then our second array is the return vector which is this so we select this close brackets and hit enter and there you see 14 percent is your rate of return we can also use the mmult function which is basically a function used to multiply matrices to find out the rate of return we are seeing the formula here if we need to find out the expected return we need to do this matrix multiplication P transpose times R so let us do that in this cell equality sign M mult start bracket Excel is asking us for the arrays the first array has to be the transpose of P so we write transpose of the P vector which is this we supply that close brackets comma and then we need to supply Excel our second array uh, it looks like I misspelled transpose here so let me go back and correct that transpose and this was our array P transpose close the bracket and then comma and we have to supply the second array which is the return vector which is this so we are going to supply that and close the bracket and then control shift and enter all three keys should be pressed simultaneously which I'm doing that on my keyboard now and I'm seeing the value returned 14 percent expected rate of return Alright guys, this is uh, all that I wanted to cover in this video. Next time when we meet, we are going to use the same problem and find out, find out the variance in standard deviation of returns for, from the same data. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.